Welcome to Introduction to Healthcare Data Analytics. This is an online self-paced course that is non-instructor-led. I'd like to give you a few tips on navigating the course effectively. So first of all, let's see what the course is composed of. We have an introduction, six topical modules, and a final case study. The home page we're looking at now should be your navigational home base. So let's assume that you've already reviewed the introduction, which we strongly encourage you to do. Your next stop will be module one, and you should be navigating from this home page to the different modules. Okay, I'm gonna click on that, and that brings me to a module page. So what you'll do is you will work your way down the page. Note that the headings indicate which sections are required and which are optional. You'll see required lectures, required readings, and so on. Also notice that required elements have a little blue star in front of them so that they stand out more. So I am going to scroll up a little bit and go to this first lecture. Notice that it opens in a new tab. You have quite a few different options for accessing the lecture content. You can watch a narrated PowerPoint video. You can review an audio transcript. You can listen to an audio file. Or you can simply download the PowerPoint deck and you can view the slides and the narration that goes with each slide. When you're done with the lecture, do not use these previous and next buttons down here. Simply go up here to the tab, close it out, and you will be back on module one page. After each lecture and required reading or video, there's something called a knowledge check. You can see one right here. These knowledge checks are mini quizzes that help reinforce retention of key concepts. Each knowledge check has between one and four questions. You'll be able to view correct and incorrect answers after you submit your answers. But these are not graded, so it's a pretty low pressure uh, activity. Now I am going to open a URL to a reading. Scroll down here. And let's open this one. Now, in some browsers, this security message will appear. If it does, simply click on the link in white font that appears in the gray box, and this will take you to the web page. When you're done, you'll need to close out of two tabs. So I close out of both of those and then I am back on the module page. Each module also includes at least one interactive activity in which you respond to questions and receive feedback. So let's open one up. When you open the activity, you'll see some introductory verbiage, and then in this box you'll see the actual activity. So this is highly interactive. For example, I click on this clipboard and the clipboard shows me definitions of the concepts that I'll be working with. One note on navigation, please use the navigation buttons that are built into the activity. You see one here and here. Do not use these gray previous and next buttons down below. So now I am going to close out of that through my tab up here. And I am back on module one. I want to point out that each module also has a required module assessment. You see this down here. Each assessment has 10 questions and you'll need to score at least a 70% on each module assessment to successfully complete the course. 
However, you'll have two attempts at reaching that goal. There are also optional resources in each module that you can peruse and explore according to your own needs and interests. Now I am going to go back to the home page and I can do that in a few different ways. I can go to the left here and click on home. I can go up to the breadcrumbs and click on the course title. Or the easiest way is simply on the module page clicking on this blue button. Okay, I'm back on the home page and I am going to scroll down to the case study. This case study gives you a chance to synthesize and apply what you've learned throughout the six modules to a quality improvement project. After you submit your assignments, you'll be able to compare what you've submitted with examples of what your charts or documents should look like. If you'd like to monitor your completion of required elements to ensure that you haven't missed anything, you can go to Modules in the left-hand menu. All right, and I'm going to scroll down. You'll notice to the right of each item, there's a faint gray circle. As you complete things, you'll get a, a green check, and that indicates completion. If you need technical support, you can email informatics at bellevuecollege.edu. Please don't hesitate to ask for assistance. We're here to help, and we hope you enjoy the course.